Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being with us this week in America. The new self-help book, A Message Within Its Words, is receiving excellent reviews. The author is Paul Mason. The book is inspirational as well as motivational, a help for people trying to make sense out of the ups and downs of their daily lives, how biblical principles are just as relevant today as they ever have been. A Message Within Its Words by Paul Mason, who's our guest on today's This Week in America. Paul, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Yes, and uh, thank you so much, Rick, and um, you know, for the time you spent it with me. I am looking forward to this. There are so many really positive, uplifting messages in the book, A Message Within Its Words. And, and we were chatting. This really, the book came out of, of Facebook. You were just publishing messages. Pe- people were responding. They were inspired by these messages. And you became an author suddenly, and you have a book published now called A Message Within Its Words. Talk about the response that you got, because it really got you, uh, got you motivated to put the book together. Um, the responses that I have gotten um, were basically positive. People uh, sent me messages, you know, expressing, um, you know, their thought because I was like, yes, that's basically my purpose behind behind writing it was so to say, you know, have a person, you know, self reflection of associated life and the situation, and then you know try to uh, think upon it and see what changes um, can be made from what they're doing that will, so to say, put uh, put them in a better path for what they're going. Yeah, and as you read, there's something really in the book for everybody. Who is the book designed for? Who would you would really learn something? And I'm thinking almost everybody, so I've sort of answered that question. But when you were writing the book, who did you design this for? Uh, actually, I uh, didn't actually have nothing, no one, no one in particular. So say um, just basically me speaking with God and just writing. That's basically what the whole, the whole objective. Yeah, I mentioned in the beginning there are people that probably feel and have said to you, like, the the Bible was a long time ago. Is it still relevant today? And you make the very strong case that, yes, what you learned, the messages that you picked up or retained out of the Bible, these are just as relevant today, aren't they, as they ever have been? Yes, I totally agree with that. Um, my my, my uh, social opinion, or rather, um, social opinion of value, you know, you have a lot of people, and so to say, they may read the Bible, and they might think, oh, um, they don't understand it all. They figured, you know, this it was so, so many years ago that it's, there's no correlation between this time and that time. And I just, you know, with my writing, I just try to express to them that, um, so to say, it may be a different time, but so to say, um, um, uh, what should I say, not personal behavior, but so to say, um, life situation itself, so say, exactly. You know the way a person may feel, think, how a person may go about life. Um, still basically the same. A person is trying to progress, trying to have something, trying to make something out of that life. And there are observations of yours here, and you share that your relationship God with God has been restored. You woke up one day feeling that that, that God was present in you. Talk about that, getting away from and then getting back to and, and feeling the comfort of this, uh, uh, of him being in your life again. I mean, well, so say, uh, um, you know, way back, um, like I said, you know, when I got injured, I kind of, you know, went through a spell. And then, because actually, I, um, I'd always had a rela- relationship with God, but so to say, as I written it in some of my messages, that uh, my relationship wasn't sincere. You know, I would speak with him every night and you know, ask for forgiveness and talk about him, um, talk talk to him with, um, with so to say, with what he was thinking and feeling. And so to say, then um, um, it's just that um, over time, over time, by me speak with him, I really, really um, got to um, I'm reflecting on myself and saying, look here, you know, either I'm going to be, um, the relationship with him is going to be sincere, so therefore I can change from what I'm doing and get back into the path I was heading, and also say I'm um, self-destruct, basically. Yes. How do you, and the name of the book, by the way, is A Message Within Its Words. Our guest on the program is Paul Mason. The book's available at bookventure.com slash bookstore, Amazon as well. You can link on directly to get information on the book by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Talk about how you came up with the messages in the book and the messages, and it's very easy. Once you read the book, you can go back and, and refer to the book. It's laid out so you can use it almost on a daily basis as you're going through trials and tribulations in your own life. How did you develop the messages? 
Um, so say uh, um, messages basically came from um, basically what you and I and 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 one working the world so say may have experienced or may know of some someone experienced. And I'm um, so say you know I kind of like uh, may heard something someone spoke of or may may have a comment someone might might have said a word on TV I might have heard or radio. And then that right just uh, sparked a thought. Then I just took it from there and then just got to write it on that thought. Yeah, yeah, there are a number of thoughts in there. And one you talk about is what mask are you wearing today? And the disguises that we all seem to cloak ourselves in from time to time in our lives. Uh, talk about the, the inspiration of that and, and how we deal with that. I mean, well, so to say that, you know, cause like how, um, you know, one, um, you know, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we wear so many damn different masks. So, say, you know, we go up in front of society, one, one person may act like this around this person, and then this person act, act totally different around someone else. And my agenda was uh, behind it, writing was that, so say, when you got God with you, like, you only wear one mask, and that's your true self. You talk about letting go of the past, which is so important to so many people. We may think that we've let go of the past, but it's still back there. It's, uh, and you talk about it's you who holds yourself back, and we're the ones that can release that. Uh, tell us about that, because I'm sure that is, that's helped a lot of people, because we all got caught in, get caught in that, where it's difficult sometimes to, to quit glancing through the rearview mirror and look through the, uh, look through the windshield. So, so true. Yes, um, um, letting, letting it go to the past, basically, so say my agenda was that, you know, um, once again, you know, speak to people and let them, let them understand that um, they have, um, they have let, go, let go to the past. So to say, as, as I stated, you know, not to forget about it, but so to say, you know, you cannot let your past, so to say, block you or stop you or interfere from you moving forward. Because so to say, if you continue to, you know, be um, be, um, be 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 uh, bewildered or bothered or so say, um, holding on to something because something you've done in the past. You know, you're gonna always remain where you are. Basically. With us on this week in America is Paul Mason, author of the book A Message Within Its Words. As I said, the book is inspirational and motivational. And the nice thing is, you can tell in listening to Paul, these are our heartfelt messages that, that Paul has relayed starting on the internet on Facebook and now in the, the book A Message Within Its Words. And also the simplicity. It cuts right through it. It's like, yeah, I understand what he's saying and I think I can apply this in my life. One thing you talk about is not being yourself. And talk about that. We find out so many times that uh, we're struggling to to find out who we are. And you say that basically there's a plan for each of us. We are all his children, and there's a plan for us. Yes. Uh, so say with that, you know, not being yourself. Basically, again, as like once again, um, along with that, um, that um, then go to pass. You have people that so to say, um, you know, they. They, what I'm trying to say, they, they, this person one day and the next day, they someone else. And my objective behind that day is so to say, just be yourself. You know what I mean? Don't care, um, don't bother, don't, so to say, let other people's judgment, um, what so may, may have about you, uh, so to say, interfere with what you want to do. Long as, long as, long as you had God in your life, so to say, um, you're, you're okay, you're doing right. You know, so often in life we're faced with making difficult decisions, and you say we really don't have to make those alone, do we? We have someone that we can lean on to get us through these difficult times. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So to say that, you know, one, um, I, I try to express people first, so to say, you know, it's always good to have someone, you know, you can, you know, you can talk to. But um, I say that, you know, first talking out with God, because so to say, um, no one knows what you're going through, how you feel, and no, so say, um, but God. And so say, when you talk, when you talk to God, and and your heart is sincere, He would let you know what to do, what you need to do uh, to get yourself out of such situation, or to help you progress with, um, so say, what you may be doing with your life. What have all of these messages meant to you in in your life? The different struggles that you've gone through, the the highs as well as the lows. What have these messages? Because I, 
I sense it in reading and I sense in listening to you. These are messages straight from the heart that messages that, that you learned maybe the hard way in getting through some of these situations. What have these messages meant to you? Um, well, so say overall, all, all the messages basically, as I stated earlier, you know, made me, uh, made me um, look back on my life and me as a person and what does that want to do with my life going forward. You know, because so to say, you know, I cannot change. Uh, I have. To, I don't have the ability to change what, um, so to say, what occurred. So to say, so by me speaking with God and having a relationship with Him and letting Him know that I'm sincere and um, you know, I want to stop doing what I was doing and I want to um, have something more out of my life. Um, then I'm able to, so to say. Um, so say put my mind, my thinking towards that day instead of so say thinking back on oh, well, I, oh I should have done this, I should have done that, or oh, well no I shouldn't have said this or I shouldn't have said that. You also talk about uh, one of the messages is it happens, and you, basically taking a situation, uh, in some cases a bad situation, and turning turning it into a blessing. Talk about that because so often we feel like we've just been victimized and there's not much I can do about it. And you're saying, yes, there is. You can turn it around and you can make this a positive in your life. Yes, I mean, there's basically that there, so to say, is your thinking. Um, you got to um, look at this situation and so to say, either um, you're going to change it, so to say, by, um, you know, uh, thinking differently and approaching, and, approaching, approaching life differently. Also, to say, you're going to continue um, thinking as you were thinking and continue going down that road you were sitting, you know, you're heading that. So, but, you know, by you change your thinking, you know, you, your, your whole outlook, aspect, aspect of life and everything, um, so to say, uh, um, changes. And then by your thinking change, then your actions start to change. We're talking with Paul Mason on This Week in America. The book is A Message Within Its Words. The book is available at bookventure.com in the bookstore. It's available, of course, at Amazon. Information by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and you can link on directly to the information on Paul's book. Uh, a series of messages, very, very inspirational messages, eye-opening messages, simple messages you can go back and refer to from time to time. Uh, one message in there is talking about being at peace. And that, that seems so important that you understand where you are and, and are okay with that. Talk a little bit about that and, and dealing with the disappointments, especially as we get older. I mean, so say being at peace, just be, um, you know, being at peace with yourself. Because so say, you know, uh, if, you, if you're not, you don't have peace within yourself, so say, um, um, you tend to, so say, bend your anger and frustration out on yourself or so say with other people. And by doing that there, so say, you basically, so say, distracting your blessing, actually. And you talk about, I mentioned as you get older, as we get older, we start thinking about, uh, you know, the end of life as we know it. And you talk about saying our final farewell. Talk about that and the importance of, of, of understanding that. Yeah, uh, uh, saying your final farewell, basically, so say, um, basically. It, um, you know, so say, you know, basically, so say, you know, you want to change, you know, you want to change, so to say, what you're doing. And because, so say, you know, you, you're fine for farewell. No, you don't want, you know, you don't want to be associated people remembering this about, you know, the, the last farewell, you know, you want people to remember something, something positive, something you had done, contributed to, towards your life or towards someone else. The book is A Message Within Its Words. Paul Mason is the author and our guest on the program. A couple minutes left in the program. Let's talk about this evolution for you as you're posting these, these messages on Facebook and you realize that people want more, that they're actually, they're life altering for many of these people. What does that feel like when you're putting these messages out there and suddenly you realize, I'm changing some lives for the better? Oh yes, yeah. so say um, um, response that I get, you know, um, um, get from my um, Facebook friends and family up on the wall. Um, it's positive. You know, more, more, more to say is it more, it more encourages me more to do more. You know, to write more, to so say uh, continue doing it. And so say because like I stated, my objective behind the whole thing wasn't so say you know to write a book. It was just so say a message I want to put out there 
you know, to provoke, uh, provoke a thought in a person's head for a person's um, look back on self, self-reflection of their self in life and their situation and try to make whatever change that they can make, so to say, with God um, in their life and so to say, remind them that um, it cannot be done without God, basically. What has this process meant for you? We talk about touching people and they're able to, to, to be inspired by, by reading. The book is a message within its words. What has this process meant for you? Has this made you a better person? Has it made your relationship with God closer by going through the, the introspection in, in writing these? Oh, yes, it has. So say, um, it um, just basically made me so say, uh, Anytime I, so say, maybe doing something, also say, um, if I may, you know, so say, had a thought, and I kind of reflect before I, so say, act upon it, I, you know, kind of like say, um, think about, okay, is this correct, correct thing for me to do or say? Because, like, say, in the past, I might have just done something or, or said something without, so say, giving it a second thought. But, um, so say, by me writing this book, and it um, bring me, um, help me reflect on myself, my relationship with God. I, I tend to um, think on things before I act or say it now. The book is making all of us better and continuing to make Paul better. The book is called The Message Within Its Words. Paul Mason is the author. The book is available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble as well. You can find it at bookventure.com slash bookstore. Link on directly by going to our website thisweekinamerica.us to get all the information, find out about Paul's book, and be able to order it. Paul, it was a pleasure having a chance to read the book, A Message Within Its Words. A pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, I want to thank you also, Mr. Brick. Uh, you know, I really, really, really appreciate it because... Uh, you know, I just, um, like I say, just like what people get out there and um, just read a book and so to say, um, just read through it because I'm sure they can find many things in there which I've written that they can relate to or so to say, find know someone that can relate to and they can pass the message on to. And the book, like I say, it's very easy to read and it's a great reference. You can go through this and maybe you're thinking, that's not me. And six months from now, you're thinking, I really need to find Paul's book and go back and read that chapter because this is going to, uh, this now applies to my life. The book is a message within its words. Paul Mason, the author and our guest on the program. The program is This Week in America. All the information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. 